श्री जयदेव गल्ला जी थैंक यू सर सर आई राइज टू सपोर्ट द बिल सिंस इट्स अ वेरी क्रूशल बिल टू बिल्ड आर कंट्री इन टू ग्लोबल हब फॉर आर्बिट्रेशन द बिल ऑल्सो एम्स टू क्रिएट अ न्यू स्ट्रक्चर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द न्यू डेली इंटरनेशनल आर्बिट्रेशन सेंटर by taking over the existing international center for alternative dispute resolution in spite of having so many positives in this bill right from the institutional framework to giving this an institution of national importance which gives autonomy to it there are some ambiguities and drawbacks which i wish to highlight and request the honorable minister to address them to make it more effective the first one is the central government is the appointing authority for the members of the nd IAC and a periodic contributor to its funds further its accounts are proposed to be audited by the comptroller and auditor general of india also the central government would have the power to remove members from this office but the problem is investors adopting alternate modes of dispute resolution prefer a neutral decision making body sir the proactive role proposed by the central government may discourage contracting parties from referring disputes to the ndiac for fear that the independence and credibility of the arbitral institution will be compromised especially in cases where the opposite party is a public sector undertaking sir even the saic which many members talked about in singapore was established with government aid and funding but it has now become a completely self sufficient and independent arbitration institution sir the second is that the bill is dealing only with administrative issues and leaving aside the procedural framework on how to settle disputes timelines for completion of arbitration proceedings etc i am saying this because the icadr has failed because of its outdated approach in resolving disputes so what i suggest for the consideration of the honorable minister is to include the procedural framework within the bill and don't leave it to the bureaucracy sir otherwise the ndi ndiac may meet the same fate as the icadr the third point sir it's not going to be easy sailing for the ndiac the critical and important issue fa issues faced by icadr is the negligible number of cases before it let me give a comparative analysis of icadr and other international arbitration institutions the total number of cases taken up by the icadr since its inception in 1995 till 2016 is just 49 cases but at the same time if you look at the ciac in singapore it has handled nearly 350 cases in 2016 alone and the icc in london has handled 966 cases this clearly indicates whom the ndic is up against so we have to be doubly cautious in giving a framework to the ndiac the next point this very house passed the arbitration conciliation bill last year sir the objective of which is to establish arbitration council of india in order to review and give grant grading to the arbitral institutions but this bill has lapsed due to the dissolution of the lok sabha so i suggest for the consideration of the honorable minister to bring this arbitration and conciliation bill without any further delay because periodic review and grading will help in promoting the credibility of the ndiac particularly among foreign investors my final point sir that there is no mention about setting up of regional centers clause 14 simply says that the facilities would be set up in india and abroad sir regional centers are very important for the success of the ndiac so i request the honorable minister to set up one regional center in amravati in andhra pradesh to cater to the needs of south india sir it's going to be a new modern city with the support of the state government hopefully it will become a reality soon and with these observations and anticipation that the honorable minister will reply to these points i support the bill thank you sir